To an NBC 26 follow-up, new court documents show the former UW Oshkosh vice chancellor is firing back at the Board of Regents, saying they knew about the millions of dollars he allegedly transferred illegally. Lawyers for Thomas Sonliner say he and former Chancellor Richard Wells presented plans for at least three of the five projects between 2010 and 2014 to the Board of Regents, explaining how the funding would work. Marissa DeCandido has the story from Oshkosh. New court documents filed yesterday by Thomas Sonleitner's attorneys say the complaint against him should be dismissed. The former UW Oshkosh vice chancellor's lawyers say Sonleitner was acting with knowledge and consent of superiors and representatives of the Board of Regents when he allegedly transferred over $11 million from the university to the UWO Foundation. That money was used for five on and off campus projects, including the Oshkosh Sports Complex. Documents say Sonleitner and former Chancellor Richard Wells presented plans for a partnership between the university and its foundation in 2010 to fund certain projects. Later in 2013, those documents say the foundation offered to provide details of the partnership to the board, but the members said no because of time constraints. The Board of Regents filed a lawsuit against Sonleitner and Wells a few weeks ago, alleging the two illegally transferred funds to the UWO Foundation. According to court documents, Sonleitner's lawyers say his actions are justified as he was acting within the scope of his job and for benefit of the university. In Oshkosh, Marissa D. Candido, NBC 26. Now NBC 26 reached out to UW Oshkosh for comment, but the university says they cannot comment on this specific case.